In this video, I'm going to show you this multi-purpose dowsing chart. Why it's so good and how easy it is to use. So please stay with me. Hello, I'm Serbish and in this channel I share with you practical tips and tools you can use to improve your wellness. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing. Also, check out my website for more information, tips and all sorts of interesting stuff. You can find link in the video description below. Our life is not uh, as simple as yes and no, black and white. Sometimes we need uh, shades of grey, sometimes we need to um, find information about the questions which are not as simple as yes or no. And in those times we use dowsing charts. So I prefer to use this one. I've been using this dowsing chart for many years. I found it uh, very useful in many situations. Um, I can take it um, with me when I go for a trip, for instance, and I measure some energies um, uh, in um, other places. And um, it's very versatile. I print it out from uh, the ebook Letter to Robin. I laminated it so it's uh, waterproof and it's um, hard enough to, to be able to operate on it uh, very easily. Because when it's laminated, you can easily do the dowsing with it. Okay, so let me show you how easy is this uh, dowsing chart to use. So you start with the pendulum uh, hanging on the center, above the center of the chart, like this, and towards the ready for question point here, ready for question. And then when you douse, the pendulum can simply say yes, it will be oscillating here, or no. And of course you can uh, ask more complex questions and then they will, the answer will be shown on the chart. So for instance, let's ask a question. Is this Saturday today? No. And another question, is it Monday today? Yes. So as you see, you, you start the question when you um, oscillate pendulum towards direction of this point here. And then you can ask many uh, questions regarding, for instance, the numbers of 0 to 30 here, which you can use to guess or find out the information about the day in the month. You can also ask the information about the month if you just focus on the numbers from 0 to 12. You have um, two sections of the chart. One is here showing the negative side, one is the positive side. So for instance, if you want to check if um, some uh, place is positive or negative for you to be, you can just ask um, on a scale of 0 to 10, from minus 10 to plus 10, how is this place affecting me right now? And then you can have answer neutral here, so it means it's neither bad or good for you, it's detrimental or it's positive. You can, for instance, um, ask questions regarding some uh, names and then you can use that um, information regarding the letters. Another useful section of this chart is this on the outside, uh, the numbers from 0 to 400. And then you can measure the energy level. So for instance, when you forget your Bovis scale, you can ask um, the question and you can use these numbers for Bovis scale. You just add, multiply them by 100. So this will be 1000, 2000, 3000, 4000, 5000 and accordingly in the Bovis scale. And then um, you can use this chart only. So for instance, you can use 
percentage scale to ask the information about your chakra. For instance, on a scale of 0 to 100, how optimally is operating how optimally is operating my base chakra? And it shows me 70 here on this chart 70. I prefer to use the bottom part uh, for the percentage, but you can also uh, use this part. So it will show 70 here. So what I really like in this chart that is very versatile, that with this one chart, you can ask so many questions about so many things. So you don't need to carry the whole lot of other charts with you. For instance, when you go on to check um, on location, like for instance, you're going to um, check some information about um, somebody's house or say, another place in the nature. And you can just use uh, this chart only to ask all the information you need. So there might be times when the information you're asking for it's not available for you for some reasons and that's why we have these six points at the bottom part of the chart. The first one is called red flag which means uh, you need to be careful what you are dousing at this moment. The second one is called incomplete question. It means you need more data for the good answer. The third one is called other information is available. So it means it suggests to ask more questions to get uh, about the subject to get more detailed information. The next one is change to different subjects. It uh, suggests to changing the topic of what you are dosing to get to the point of what you are actually asking for. The next one is information not available at this point of time which um, suggests that you should uh, come back to this uh, question um, in you know, a couple days, for instance, or not on, in this particular time. And the last one is the space for write-ins. There is some information how to use this chart. Uh, you can find it in the letter to Robin on the page 20. And the chart is on the page 19. If this chart is a little bit too overwhelming for you, um, I will do video as well about this chart, which is a simplified version for people who don't need um, so many uh, information and uh, they can simply use uh, that uh, simplified version. So please um, check this video here. So I'm very grateful that um, Walt Woods created the letter to Robin and um, made it available for free to everyone to download from internet. I will place the link uh, to his website in the video description. And um, um, I strongly recommend you read the whole book, The Letter to Robin. Uh, it's, um, I think, about 20 something pages. Um, yeah, it shows me 21 pages here. So using a dowsing chart allows us to move our dowsing to the next level, ask more difficult questions and get uh, more complex answers. So it's definitely worth trying and I strongly recommend you use this uh, dowsing chart. Have a look at this video here. Please check out my website for more information, tips and all sorts of interesting stuff. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing and click this notification bell so you'll always know when the new video is uploaded. Thank you very much for watching.